Tonight we are working to find out what is being done to protect those experiencing homelessness here in Indianapolis. On Wednesday, a man staying at Wheeler Mission downtown tested positive for COVID-19, potentially putting hundreds of others at risk. RTV6's Megan Sanctorum spoke with shelter leaders and has more on their next steps. Leaders here at the Wheeler Mission say social distancing just isn't an option for them. They typically have more than 400 men stay here each night. So now they're working with the health department to find alternative solutions. Ed Smith is just one of hundreds of men who call Wheeler Mission home right now. At first, when I first heard about the coronavirus, I wasn't taking it that serious. But since the guy had got tested positive and, you know, you see all these so-called symptoms and stuff, yeah, I'm, I'm worried. He says men staying here are some of the most vulnerable. Being homeless, we go everywhere. Yeah, and then we come back in at one place. Leaders recognize that and tell us they've been doing health screenings at the door. If need be, we take their temperature. And if need be, we'll isolate them and connect with the Board of Health. Steve Kerr says the guest who tested positive had not been showing any symptoms until earlier this week. The man has since been isolated, and the Marion County Board of Health is working to identify and track down those he came in contact with. Our objective right now is to mitigate risk as much as we can. Curse's Neighborhood Fellowship Church on East 10th Street is opening their doors for those in need. They will take in 50 men tonight. The Board of Health is also opening a shelter. They haven't released the exact location, but we know that will take in another 50 men, reducing the total number staying downtown by almost 25%. I just want them to know that we're doing everything we can to protect them. We're doing everything we can to protect our staff. We understand the fear factor is there, um, and we want to we want to make our facility as safe as possible. Some men here say they're trying to do their part too. Well, I try to best to keep my hands clean and washed and stay away from a lot of people as possibly as I can. I'll just continue to pray for these guys down here and myself that we stay safe. Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, RTV6. Well, we reached out to county health leaders for more information on shelters and protecting people staying there, but have not yet heard back.